you can't beat no polite. I'm a Zaya. Peace and Black Power family. What's your name and where you calling from? Shalom, shalom, my this I'm a Zaya. How would I? Peace, brother. What's what's your camp, brother? Do you have a camp that you run with? No, I don't belong to any camp, sir. Are you a Messianic Hebrew, brother? I believe in the Messiah. Yes. Uh, do you support the Hebrews that be on the street? Do you do you follow them brothers like Tazariak, Daniel Allah, Black Jesus, and uh, Michael Edwards and all of these brothers, brother? I got love for all my brothers. Okay. Are you willing to answer some questions, brother? Let's see where you take this. Can you explain to us what Romans 16, 16 is talking about? Salute one another with a kiss. And I want you to explain it to us in English because we're not Greek. We're not German. We're not Hebrew. I don't want you to twist God's words because God can do that on his own. He is the most powerful one that can twist his words. I want to know what the holy kiss means in English because we are English speaking people. Can you explain to us what is the holy kiss, my brother? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was always taught that that's what they did. What? Did what? You walk up, they would kiss each other on the cheek. No, nah, it don't say cheek, brother. Where where you get cheek from? Where can you show me in the scriptures where it say greet with a holy kid, kiss on the cheek? I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't designate a place to kiss. Yeah, I'm gonna read the so, scripture for you. Yeah, read it for me. But that, I'm just telling you what I was taught, right? Right, right. Read it for me, brother. Oh. So now I'm gonna teach you by showing you what the scripture right. says. I'm not gonna All tell right. you what I said. I'm gonna tell All you right. what the scripture All says, brother. Go ahead. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the scripture. Go ahead. Romans 16 and 16. Salute one another with a holy kiss. The churches of Christ salutes you. Can you go to Samuel's, 2 Samuel's 20 and 9? 2 Samuel's 20 and 9. Come Because it's going to describe what that kiss is and how the holy kiss is. 2 Samuel's 20 right. and 9. Go ahead, brother. Second Samuel 20, verse 9. And Joab said to Amasa, Art thou in health, my brother? And Joab took Amasa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. Now, when you, if your woman, your wife was to take you by the bed and kiss you, where is she kissing you at? If she grabbed you, because the beard is right under your chin. So, on the lips. He, so hold on. So he grabs the beard under the right. chin and pulls him right. closer to kiss him. Where is he kissing you? And why would another man grab another man's beard? Come on, brother. Don't that sound fucking fishy to you? Why is a man grabbing another man's beard to bring him closer to kiss him? Now, what is that talking about? Second Samuel's uh, 20 and 9, brother. Talk to us about that. I mean, it says what it says, bro. Can you explain it? What's going on? Yeah. What's happening? Talk to me. <laughs> That's what he did, bro. <laughs> See, you can't even say it. Look at you. You can't even say it, right? Now, have you ever <laughs> seen these scriptures? Have you ever seen these scriptures, brother? Absolutely. So why? I mean, you've seen it before. You ain't but, wonder what the hell was going on? No, what I'm saying is, <clears throat> bro, like... It's a different, it's a different time, a different culture. A different oh, lifestyle. oh, you know so, saying? so was so Kemet a different time? In the culture time? that we, the culture that oh. we had today. Oh, oh. but, but y'all don't, hold on, hold on. But y'all don't say that when y'all talking about Kemet. Y'all just say gay shit. But now nah, with this, you saying it was a different time. Like don't agree with me like that because you ain't never heard me speak on Kemet. Okay, okay. Well, I'm saying the Hebrews. Okay. Right, don't, I, but look, I'm not doing Hebrews though. Yeah, you know so what what's going on with the I with the brothers and everybody else? Sir. Yeah, but what's going on with Aaron and Moses and all that shit kissing and all that shit in the Bible, brother? What's happening? I These mean, are your prophets, brother. brother. You talking about you talking about a show of affection between brothers? Damn, I don't want my brother to show me no affection like that. Where I'm kissing these brothers? Can you go to the book of Exodus four twenty seven? Exodus chapter 4. Exodus 4 and 27. I got you. Exodus 4 and 27. Yeah. And the Lord said to Aaron, go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went and met him in the Mount of God 
and kissed him. Damn, what's going on with Moses and Aaron? All this kissing and stuff going on in the Bible, brother. All of this slobbing stuff down. Where it's does it say is a greeting? Yeah, it do say greet your brother with a holy kiss. With a holy kiss, right. It's a greeting. Yeah, we oh, okay. Okay, I'll buy that. Um, was Jesus kissing a man as well? I mean, look. Hold on, let me go. Uh oh, this is Jesus now. Now we talk about the big boy. Right, right, right. Now we talk about right. the big boy. Was right. Jesus right. also he, kissing? He kissed Judas. He kissed Judas. Yeah. When he betrayed him. Exactly. So when Judas, all right. So Jesus said, "You betrayed me with a kiss," right? Right. What? Did, what was Jesus getting jealous because he kissed somebody else, or he was? You know, because uh, Jesus said, yo, Judas, nah, because, why, you, because, why you over here kissing him? Said, oh, you betrayed on, on, me. I'm, I'm going to explain to you, Go ahead. I'm explain to you what, he, what happened, right? So he pointed him out and was like, the one that I kiss is going to be him. You see what I'm saying? Hold up. Say that one more time. Judas had pointed him, pointed him out and said, look, when I kiss, the one that I kiss, that's who he is. That's who, who you going to grab. Basically. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So... <clears throat> Yeah, that's that's like a a form of betrayal because now now check this out. Look, I want to like, see. It's, it's just like this. Sir. Hold on, hold on. Ahead, it's just like this. Sir. Go ahead. It's just like any other nigga that's sitting in your house and and chilling with you and pretending to be your friend. See what I'm saying? That stabs you in the back. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with uh yeah 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 yeah. No yeah. homosexuality. Nah, or no like no. That. Yes, it do. And we're gonna show you later on. Can you go to Matthew's twenty six forty nine? And you got the uh, King James Version, right? God. Go ahead. Matthews 26, 49. Let me get it done. Scroll past it. Let me read 48 first. One second. Go ahead. Matthew, Matthew 26 or 48. Go ahead. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whom, whomsoever I shall kiss, that same as he hold him fast. Right? So that's uh -huh. what I just explained, right? Right. Go ahead. And forthwith, he came to Yahusha, or Jesus, right, and said, Hail, Master, and kissed him. Now, and, now, when you look at the word and, do you see any letters above that and? Real tiny letters. Like, do you see an R anywhere above that? Which, which word you said? And? Yeah, yeah. On Matthew 26, 49. Do you see an R? A little real tiny R because the R is telling you where else to go to get a description of what the kiss represented. That's what the R is okay, telling I'm, you. I'm in, the, I'm in the blue letter. Yeah, but do you see an R? Do you see an R? Because it directs you to go to Matthew, second Matthew 20 and 9. That's what he's talking about when he when y'all want to get a perfect example of the kiss. Well, it's telling you to understand the kiss of Judas and Jesus. Go to Second Samuel's twenty and nine, and then you will get an understanding of what that kiss was like. So let's go to because that's where it's taking you at. That's what y'all always do. Let's go to the other scriptures so I can tell you what it means. Oh, the yeah, right, there right, you go. Right. There you go. You got it. The <laughs> precept. Now, Second, see you laughing because you know I'm on to something. Second Samuel's twenty and nine. That's where it's telling you to go so you can get an understanding of Judah and. Jesus, go ahead, brother. I actually, I'm laughing because can nobody else deal with this question. I know I don't they don't want why to. It's making everybody. They, so they, they don't want to deal with this goddamn question. Go ahead. All right, and Joab, this is Salakia, Second Samuel twenty and nine, and Joab says to Amasa, "Art thou in help, my brother?" And Joab took Amasa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. So it's showing you what Judith did to Jesus. He grabbed him by the bed and kissed him. That's what it's telling you. It's telling you, it's giving you a clear description of how that kiss went down between Judah right. and Jesus, brother. I rest right, my so case. Sir, hold up, hold yes, up. Go ahead. Let me ask you a question, sir. Go ahead, brother. If, if, if I was to, to walk up to you, right, and grab you by the beard and kiss you, what would you do to me? I'll kick you in your ass. I'll try to stab you. I'll, I'll try to cut your throat. I try to do anything I could in my power to do that to you. Okay, so 2 Samuel 20 and 10, right, says, 
But Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Joab's hand, so he smote him with therewith in the fifth rib, and shed out his bowels to the ground, and struck him not again, and he died. Hold so on. Joab and Abishai, his brother, pursued after Sheba, the son of Bitri. Hold on, hold on. What scripture is that? That's the very next verse. And what you asked me to read. And what does that pertain to? Is that pertaining to what's Hester, going on? He gutted the nigga. So who cutted him? Jesus? <laughs> who gutted him? I'm saying, you saying after he kissed him, he gutted him. Who gutted him? Okay, look, it says. See right, that? that? And he said the same shit that I said I would do. A monster. The one, right, okay, yeah, Amasa, the one who was grabbed by the beard, right? Right. Gutted Joab. Right, uh, gutted, but uh, I understand yeah. that. And so that's what I'm saying. He gutted him. He did the same shit I would do. But Jesus didn't gut it, Judah. See? So you're reading a totally different scripture. But that's because that's because Hamashiach was, was going up to uh, be crucified. Right. Now, why would he gutter him if he wasn't kissing him on his lips? So he like, man, what the hell are you kissing me, niggas? You crazy? And he gutted him. Right? The same thing I said I would do. Right? Right, right, right. Okay. So, uh, can you tell us about, talk to us about Samuel's, 1 Samuel's one twenty six? Can you explain that, brother? Let me go to First Samuel's one twenty six. You sure that's the right one? First Samuel's. What is that? Samuel one. So First Samuel one twenty six says, "Uh, and she said, oh, my Lord.' Oh, 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 no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. Second Samuel. Second Samuel. Second. I gotta put. I forgot to put the second up there." All right. Second Samuel one and twenty six. Yes. I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold wonderful. on. He said, "I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasantly hast thou been unto me." So he's letting you know right there that you have been so pleasant unto me, man. Continue, read. Thy love to me was wonderful. Oh, stop, stop, stop. So now him. he's saying, thou love to me was wonderful. Oh, my God. You made love to me better than anybody have ever done, including no, the woman. No, no, Hold no, on. No, let me no, finish. No, let me no, finish. No, let me finish, and I'm going to let you go. <laughs> including the love that I made with my woman. Go ahead. Read. <laughs> That's not what that means. Read, brother. Finish. Passing the love of women. Stop. That is exactly what it means because he's saying your love to me was goddamn passing the love that I would have with a woman. He's telling you that. Now read it without no interruptions. I'm going to let you read it. All right. Well, it says passing the love of women. Right. Not the love that he has for Right. But, but, but brother, Not when you go, when you go into the Greek, it's telling you passing the love of women and the Greek is telling you the love was better than a woman could ever give me. That's what y'all do, right? Now you see how that shit feel? That's what y'all do when y'all want to make up shit. But I'm not making it up. I'm oh, giving you well, word for you word. Heard, you ain't heard me make nothing up. No, yet. not you. But listen, I'm giving you what nah, it says. Me, hold look, on. Look, hold look, on. Look, hold look, on, look, brother. Don't hold me, on. Don't group me I got with you. Other, with other Hebrews, All right. I got you. you I'm giving you, you what it says in the Bible. I'm giving you what it says in the Bible. Read that again. 2 Samuel 1, Without no interruption. All right. Second Samuel 1 and 26. I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. What does that mean to you in your breakdown? I mean, it means what he said, man. Jonathan to him was a, was like a brother. Was a good lover, right? No, nah, I didn't say a lover. Brother, he said, said your brother. love to me. The love that you right, gave okay, me. So let me. Come on, brother. Let me ask you a question, sir. Let me go ask ahead. you a question. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What is love, son? Uh, love is like really the unconceptional feelings that you may have for for one another. You know, love. When you love someone, you will die for someone. 
you will give your all okay. to someone. So he's telling you, I am very dis distressed. It, all right. For okay, thee, my brother question, Jonathan, right? very pleasant has thou been unto me. Very pleasant has thou been unto me. One more time. Very right, pleasant. Very, very pleasant has thou been unto me. Thy love right. to me was wonderful. Thy love to me was wonderful. Passing the love of women. That's the key point right there. Passing the love of women. What God. does that mean, God. brother? Con, let's get to the bottom of it. Let's work together on this, now, right? So, like, would you say that you love your woman, right? Yep. Okay. And you love your children, right? Yeah, but I would never tell another man, God damn, the love that you gave me, brother, that shit is passing the love of woman. I'm not saying that to another man, bro. You don't see something suspect going on. See, how come y'all can never see it and I don't, brother, will you say that to another no, man? Can, will you tell another I can man? See it clearly. All right, but look, you you love brothers, right? You got love for your brothers, right? All day, every day. So if Michael Edwards was to say to Israel Doctrine, yo, Israel Doctrine, man, listen, the love that you gave to me, brother, oh, man, that love to me was wonderful. Passing of another woman. What would you think of Michael Edwards? <laughs> right, oh come on, brother. What would you think of Michael <laughs> Edwards saying that type of shit to Israel Doctrine, brother? <laughs> One, that, that, I'll probably just say hallelujah because that would never happen. <laughs> oh my God, man, this is crazy. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, but look, though, no, look, though. No. What I'm saying is this, right? Yeah. Would you say that, that you have the same love for your woman as you do for your children? Hell yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What you Listen, saying? Sonetta, the type of love that you love. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, no, there's yeah, different different forms not. of love. Yes, I got you. I got you. God, God, God. So that, that's what I'm showing you here, right, with uh -huh. this scripture, right, is yeah. that the love that you would have for a brother. And we know, bro, like, women get niggas set up all the time, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, women, women... We'll, we'll drag a nigga all the way through the mud, bro. Yeah, but but this you know one says passing the love of woman, meaning, brother, meaning that your love supersede the love of another woman. Your love is stronger than, than what I had for another woman. The love you gave me, no other woman have given me. That's what that is saying, brother. You can't, and I'm not adding, I'm not taking away from it. It's telling Jonathan, yo, this love that you showed me, this love that you passed on to me, it's so goddamn good. I can't get this shit nowhere else. That's what he's saying, brother. Nah, that's... Uh, it says passing the love of women. Of meaning women. the love, of right. Women. The love that you've given me, this shit is supersedes the love of a woman. That's what he said. Passing the love of a woman. Go All and right. look it up. But, okay. So look, if, if you have been to war, right, with one of your brothers... Right. Yes. And this man done saved your life many times. Yeah. I've been in countless battles together, right? Yeah. Don't you think you'd be a lot closer to him than you would be to a woman? So hell any no. other any no. woman that you met no. later on in life? No, sir. So you're telling me that Jonathan and them been in war, brother? Absolutely. Him and Jonathan, the one that was kissing Samuel. Bro, Jonathan's uh protected Daoud. Right. So, brother, I'm yeah, still, I mean, if a man, if a man, yes, does that and we in war, I'm still not going to say your love supersedes past a woman, brother. There's no higher <laughs> love that you could get from, a, um, besides from a woman. Hell no. Right. Not from a man. You can't get a greater love from a man than a woman can give you, especially a woman that loves you and you love her back. Don't, don't, um, uh, Teddy Pendergraph says, it's so good loving somebody when somebody loves you back. When that woman loves you back, it feels good, brother. That's the greatest love you can ever have. Not from another man. So come on, man. Let's move forward. You're doing good, though. You're doing good. Okay. So let, let's say this, right? Let's say if, if Jonathan, right, Yehunathan, right, which is Yah's gift, let's say he hadn't died, right? Right. Okay, 
any any woman, right, that come in and out of your life, bro, she gonna be gone, bro. And that nigga, that nigga still gonna be there, bro. He's still gonna be there. All for right, you. but that's hypothetical now. We ain't talking time. like that. We talking about descriptions. Well, we we been talking hypotheticals though, because you're putting yourself in the situation of these brothers. You see what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> but check this out. So the word for love in our language is a hob, right? Uh huh. And to us, a hob is the reflection in the midst of the father. Okay. All right. So to us, that's that's what love is. Love is 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 the Most High. You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm. So if the most high is, is great in that person. Let me right, ask you. Then, so why course. does the most high tell us to go out and multiply the earth, right? But why the most high, where's the most high um woman at? Where's his lady at? He don't need one because y'all refer to him as he. He said this. He is the most powerful God. So don't, if you have a he, you got to have a she, right? Because it's a duality of everything. Good, bad, hot, yeah. cold, all of that. So where's the most high lady at? <laughs> you may read it for you or what? Oh shit, you got a the most high got a woman? <laughs> I never bro read that for me because you cut me. I never knew that, bro. Damn. Go ahead. Um, read that one for me. Out. All right. Hold on one sec, one sec. So I'll bear with me for a second. Go ahead. Damn, this shit is good. If the most high got a woman, I gotta fall back on that one. <laughs> This is in, uh, I'm going to Proverbs chapter 8. Okay, let me write this down. Proverbs chapter 8, verse what? Uh, for real, the whole chapter. Okay. I don't know. I'm looking for a specific verse, though. Just bear with me for one second. Uh huh. Proverbs 8. Go ahead. You know, let's go to 8 and 12, right? All right, go ahead. The Proverbs 8 and 12 says, Our wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the fire mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom I am. Understanding, I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yeah, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yeah, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will uh, fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old, I was set up from everlasting from the beginning wherever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his Get to it, brother. Get to the he, part where he talk about his wife. I'm, I'm speaking in, in her words, all of this. That's the proof, brother? No, no, no. You didn't, see, you, you wasn't listening, bro. Yeah, I was listening. You wasn't listening. You didn't catch it. No, I didn't catch it. You didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. Okay. So I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read her name again. Go ahead. Right. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding. Okay. I have strength. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is this is what uh, wisdom that is speaking here. Okay, the spirit uh -huh. of wisdom. But I'll let you. I'll let you look over that. It's in Proverbs. Yeah, yeah. I, I still don't get that, man. It's, 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 I want to see where God is saying he got a uh, wife. Because you see, you'll find the black woman all day say, "Oh man, God is my my husband." 
I mean, that's that's not proving nothing. But anyway, brother, I want to. This is the last one I want to catch you on and see what you got for this one. And I appreciate you taking the time to stop by. First Kings twenty two twenty three. Can you explain that, brother? Let me get it now. Out. Therefore, Kings, behold, 22. the Lord. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, First Kings twenty two and twenty three. Yes. Now, therefore, let's see, First Kings twenty two and twenty three. Now, therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and the Lord has spoken evil concerning me. What's what's the problem with this one? Uh, we talking about the lying spirit. Why does the Most High always have to put a lying spirit on certain people? Why does the Most High got to put sickness and create sickness on people? I thought this was a loving God. If this is a loving God, because that's what one one minute y'all will say he loves his children, he he loves us, and the next minute you're saying that he put a lying spirit. So everything that the Most High tells us not to do, you find him doing it. So why is the okay, Most High you, running have around? You, have you read this whole chapter? No. Okay, Go ahead. So I know you're gonna read the whole chapter. Go ahead. No, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to read the whole chapter. I can keep it in. You know what I mean? Keep it simple, but this is talking about King Ahab, and Ahab was being wicked, right? Uh huh. So the Most High asked the 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 Malachim, right, or the so-called angels, right, of ways that he can kill the man. But didn't right? the Most High give us all a free will to choose him or don't choose him? Or don't we have a free will? That free will is an English concept. Okay, so we don't have a free will. I wouldn't say so. Okay. All right, my man. I want to say thank you, brother. I appreciate you coming through for the drop by. You dropping the information. I want to go ahead and play this clip with Captain Tazariak today that I interviewed him. I went over there. I had a real life drive by. I went over to their camp today to get Captain Tazariak. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. What's your name again? I'm Zaya. All right. Peace, my brother Zaya. Peace. Shalom. Shalom. Okay, family. So, uh,